In our top story, heads of the East Africa community have condemned the reported coup in Burundi. Leaders were meeting in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania over the political crisis in that country. South Africa's Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa attended the meeting. Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta, Rwanda's Paul Kagame, Tanzania's Jakai Kikwete and Uganda's Yoweri Museveni all attended today's summit. Together with Burundi's president, Pierre Nkuruziza, the goal finding a solution to the ongoing political crisis following Nkuruziza's announcement that he will run for a third term. Regional body EAC has called for a postponement of the upcoming elections. AU Commission Chair Dr Nkosazan Atlamini Zuma says elections cannot be held in a climate that is not conducive for a free and fair poll. The UN, the EU and the US have also raised concerns about the current situation in the country. The latest from Burundi is that two protesters have been killed in the capital Bujumbura after police fired on those celebrating the announcement by the general Godfrey Nyombara that he has deposed the president. Nyombara claims to be working with civil society groups to form a transitional government. Kandi ubutachi subirako ikiringo chaga tatu cha presida Pierre Nkurunziza. This statement by Niyombare was broadcast on private radio stations earlier today. The presidential office was quick to rubbish the declaration as a joke. Niyombare was fired as intelligence chief in February. It's unclear how much support he has. Shortly afterwards, crowds of cheering people streamed onto the streets of the capital, Bujumbura. After more than two weeks of protests, police kept a low profile. Protesters were angry at the president's bid for another five-year term, saying it violates a two-term limit in the constitution. More than 20 people have been killed since protests erupted. Tens of thousands have fled to neighboring countries. We would prefer to die in this street, and after we die, he can then rule over the trees and the buildings. The state broadcaster was surrounded by troops, but according to an employee inside the broadcaster, guards on the premises were resisting attempts to enter the building. <laughs> 